Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today we're going to take a look at the SD Portable Photography Mobile LED Shooting Tent. Keep watching to find out more. Wow, that was a mouthful. Okay, so today we're going to be taking a look at the SD Portable Photography Kit, or Photography Tent, however you want to put it. Now this is designed and aimed towards most people who sell things on e-stores or be it eBay, Facebook groups, all that kind of thing. So if you're looking to get that pretty much perfect shot of the item you're about to sell, this is right up your street. So we've all tried it before. We've got something lying around the house that we've wanted to put on eBay and you've gone to take a picture and then you've taken the picture, uploaded it and then realized the picture, there's a uh, some dirty laundry in the background or some personal information or the shot is completely lit wrong whatever it may be it just doesn't look right doesn't look professional and chances are your item hasn't sold so this is the answer to that problem now I'm really lucky I've got my own little personal studio set up for the channel so I've got like lights soft boxes studio lights I've got the table all that kind of thing it's all set up really nicely so if I want to do um, product shots it's reasonably easy for me to do. It still can be a pain, but it's reasonably easy to do. But maybe you don't have the space or you don't have the room or you don't have the time or the energy to do all that and to set it all up. This is ideal. Now this is a 20 by 20 by 20 inch photography tent effectively. So you can take all your shots inside this compact foldable design. And then when you're done with it, just pack it back up and it folds up to the size of a briefcase. Well, a largish briefcase. Now the things you get included in this are, you get four backdrops. So there is a black, a white, a gray, and a orange colored backdrop. So the backdrop covers the back and the floor of the tent. So all your products are gonna look evenly lit and evenly distributed, all that kind of stuff. And if you've got a personal preference, say for instance, you like that infinity look, then using the white background, your product will have that 3D effect and it will have a almost invisible background obviously depending on the quality of your photography. Also inside the box on all the other surfaces, you have this reflective dappled effect, which bounces the light around. So you get perfect lighting for your shots. Now, obviously if you're photographing something which is quite large, like a box or maybe a globe, for instance, because the lighting is on the top, there is actually 120 LEDs on the top in a square arrangement, which are also adjustable, which is what this box is for. But if you've got something like a globe, then obviously because it's a rounded surface, some of the light isn't going to bounce back up. So there are limits to what this can actually achieve and produce, but obviously just be a little bit sensible about it. Light has to bounce around in certain areas. Now product shots for things like this, like this is the uh, Sharkoon Sharp Blades fan, which I'm going to be reviewing shortly. Now that looks absolutely fantastic in there. And um, with the camera in, you, you can use any camera at all. It doesn't really matter. Ideally, if you can, a camera which has an adjustable white balance on it. The lighting in here is actually set at daylight or 5500K. So if you can, ideally set your camera to that particular white balance. You can leave it on auto, but for the best results, you're better off dialing the settings in manually. But having said that, you don't need a compact camera or a DLSR or mirrorless. You can quite happily get away with your point and shoot or maybe even your mobile phone. Most mobile phones these days actually have really great sensors and for this kind of thing, are gonna be absolutely perfect. Now talking of the lighting, when you're actually doing the lighting, the light on the top in the square arrangement, it can be quite harsh, but thankfully SD have included this kind of soft box cover. So this will diffuse the light and give you a much nicer finish. So if you've got something which is slightly reflective or you're getting hot spots on it, then you can use this in the top with the Velcro and attach to the Velcro sides and use it as a light box. Now actually, when you're assembling this, when it comes out of the box immediately, it's all folded up nicely. So it's in the kind of the briefcase setup. And all you do is undo the Velcro, open out all the flaps, and then just put it together as a cube. Once or twice after you've done it, it will become second nature. The first couple of times it's a little bit tricky. You're not sure which, which way to fold it, but it is relatively simple and you do get used to it very, very quickly. Now, because the way this is designed with the use of Velcro pretty much throughout, you can make lots of adjustments to it. 
So if you want to, you can take out the back panel quite easily, just flip up the lid, take out the back panel, exchange it for your preferred color. Alternatively, if you've got a shot and you particularly want to get a different angle, then you don't have to shoot through this front section. You can actually, because this is all Velcroed, you can just easily close that down. There is a lid on the top, so you can pull the lid back and then you can aim the camera down so you can get those lovely top down shots should your photography require it. Or alternatively, because again, it's all hinged and Velcroed, if need be, you can just remove one of the side panels and also that will give you easy access to your products if you've got a slightly larger product. So that pretty much wraps up all the, uh, the features of this SD portable LED shooting box or shooting tent. Um, I suppose really what you need to do is see what it can produce. So I'm gonna be showing you now a slideshow of some of the pictures I've taken. Now granted, I'm not the best photographer in the world as you can probably tell from some of my videos, but even with my limited skills and ability, I've managed to pull off some really nice shots and actually, I thought some of my previous shots for products, which I posted on Facebook and Twitter and Discord and things like that, I thought they were pretty good. But when I take some pictures on here, you can actually see what is possible and what you can achieve. And you do notice immediately, when you take away the background from your shots, let's say for instance, when I've done shots outside and I've had like a Bluetooth speaker and I've put it in the garden, you can see all the background of the garden. Yeah, it looks really nice, but it does actually detract quite a lot from the actual product you're trying to promote or sell or whatever. So by doing this with the infinity background or the solid color background, this does isolate the image completely and brings your full focus to that image. So anyway, that's enough chatting. I'll leave you with the, uh, the slideshow of some of the images I've taken. If you've got any questions or comments about this product, feel free to stick them in the comment section below. There will be affiliate links in the bottom. So if you do want to purchase one of these for yourself, they are actually available in different sizes as well. So I didn't mention that. This is the 20 by 20. There is, I believe, a 16 by 16, a 24 by 24, and there might be one other one, but I'm not entirely sure. But again, I'll put affiliate links in the description so you can check them out for yourself. So I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. This has been the SD Portable Photography LED Shooting Box. Sorry, I'm working on my SEO. Thanks for watching.